What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? In today's episode of Scheme of the Week, we're going to have our full game breakdown for the Nickel Strong defense and the Green Bay Packers offensive playbooks. We're using the Cincinnati Bengals. Be sure to go back and um, watch some of the other videos if you guys aren't caught up with what we're doing on Scheme of the Week this week. And also, be sure to check out the depth chart breakdown, uh, where I break down the Cincinnati Bengals depth chart, how to run an optimal optimal setups here for, for the team that we're using today. So, uh, Green Bay Packers uh, playbook on offense, guys, and Nickel Strong on defense. Let's get into this. Um, so here we're going up against one of the better teams in the game. Uh, a lot of people think they're the best team in the game. Um, the Cincinnati, or excuse me, the, uh, shoot, who am I playing? Seattle Seahawks. Sorry, guys. I got a little sidetrack. All right. Um, RB sub my guys in because I forgot to save my depth chart. Never forget to save your depth chart, guys. That just is stupid. All right, here we go. So coming out on the base play. And let's grab the middle linebacker here. And hopefully, we're, we're, we're kind of watching read option, obviously, with... Okay, so he's blocking a running back. That's an obvious thing. Okay, so now we take notes. Take notes on that. That was a good streak of the inside. Uh, some of the things I've been doing real quick before we get all the way real knee-deep in this commentary is... Uh, one of the things also I was, I was going to uh, let you guys know something that I've been doing lately when I've been playing games is I've been shading my coverage down um, so that I could possibly... The, basically, the idea for, for me shooting coverage down is so that they play the interior streaks. A lot of people are inside pass leading streaks. I don't see a whole lot of people uh, pass leading to the outside and getting beat. So I've just been doing that as an added thing to maybe sure up the inside coverage. But one thing I've noticed when that I do when I do stuff like that is it doesn't just affect the deep zones. It also affects the outside zones, and it also it, it's just some stuff, guys, that I wanted to share with you. See what you guys thought about that, and I uh, wanted to get your feedback on that. Whether what do you guys have been doing? Um, what you guys have been doing about that as well. So uh, let me know on that. And uh, uh, real quick, guys, before he... Uh, oh, shoot, I guess I'm supposed to resume the game. My bad, guys. All right, here we go. Hopping into this. So we come out in the um, the same play every time. I think it's Sugar 3 Seam, right? It should be Sugar 3 Seam, if I remember correctly. Uh, but that's the base play that I really like to use. And we use it, I mean, we use it in a variety of ways. We can use it as our base zone. We can use it as our base man. Here we're going to send heat off of both edges. And oh, I should have been all over that. Dang it. That's just bad defense right there by me. I've got to, I've got to sure that up a little better. All right. Um, second down six. This is where we really like to go to our base man coverage. So we're going to come out of the, oh, actually, I forgot, guys. Our base plays sugar two bus. I am so sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. But we're going to come out here in the two-man under. Double spies because we're playing Wilson. Uh, I don't really want to mess with him. And there we drop an interception over the middle of the field, which sucks. Okay. All right, so now I'm on the right track here. Man, guys, I didn't realize I have uploaded 420 videos. Jeez. Man, guys, you really need to get better at this Madden thing so I can get a different life. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so here we're going to set the Sugar 2 buzz. Uh, we're going to re -bust that linebacker on the right to get the two-way. And we're basically trying to generate quick pressure with good coverage on the outside. We put those two safeties in hook zones. That's exactly right right there, so they play the streaks better. And uh, we get the interception there by Nelson. That's a big uh, it's a big, it's a big turnover early in the game, you know. And that's one of the things I think a lot about when I'm running defenses in this game. And it's obviously, when I, you know, when I lose games, that's probably one of the one things I don't think about enough is when I'm running my my plays and my, more specifically, uh, not just my plays, but, but also like my... Like my adjustments and things like that, the things I'm trying to take away from an offense, uh, I don't think I focus enough on the quick, quick stuff early uh, and trying to get that big, uh, big play early. But late, you know, maybe filling out, filling out my opponent, giving myself a little bit better opportunities to come back uh, to to kind of hedge my bets. And that's something I've been thinking a lot about. So that's just the base play right there. You guys know all about this gun, uh, Devils Flex Wing. This is. Uh, Guys, this is one of my favorite formations in the game because it's just a very, it's a very balanced formation. A lot of things we can do with it. A lot of things we can do from a passing perspective, you know, as well as a, you know, a running perspective. Just a ton of things here. Uh, we're gonna go with our base pass play. Ah, I did not just throw a pick. I did not just throw a pick. Oh my gosh. I have been out of Madden practice for a while. Uh, some of you guys have noticed inactivity on the channel. You probably wonder why that is. Uh, tomorrow there should be no, no, I should have everything caught up. Um, you should get all of the schemes. 
Well, I guess tomorrow would be today for you guys since, but, but anyway, uh, you know, tomorrow should, or, well, I guess today again, but it should catch everything up for you, um, and why I've been gone, but basically what's happened is, taking a little break, um, for Madden, had some other stuff I had to take care of, unfortunately, I didn't want to have to take a break this year, I really didn't, uh, but I ended up having to take a little bit of a hiatus, and, I, and I'm not going to ever do that again on the channel, though. That should never happen again on the channel. Because uh, hopefully from this weekend on, I'll have everything caught up um, for schemes and, and whip videos and things like that. So that I'll be able to post, you know, I, I can get stuff up like six days in advance. And then we won't have to worry about me falling behind. because. But what happened was we just, you know, things just didn't work out. So that's just what it's going to be. So if you hate me for it, I understand. Because, I, I mean, I do give the best man tips on the face of the earth, so. This is something else I've been doing, uh, real quick. There, just contain your DNs on the outside out of a out of a four down lineman set. A lot of times they get in there, and there you see that's the quarters. That's the base zone coverage. Just felt like I wanted to give that a look. See, see how he handles it. A lot of times, guys, and this is something. And I'll be honest, I stole this from Tyronto. Uh, you guys don't know who Tyronto is. One of the Madden Challenge in Madden NFL 12. One of the best defenses. Uh, in Madden 12, if not the best defense in Madden 12, ran with the Packers, I believe, but also used the Panthers quite a bit that year. And uh, one of the things that he said, uh, one of the things, I like to watch, like, commentaries by him and all the good players. You know, I like to watch, like, Zan. I watch a lot of Zan's commentaries. I, I really try to catch gameplay more than anything because I want to see how they adjust in the middle of a game, in the middle of a, you know, a split-second, you know, situation. Because I know all the plays and stuff like that, but... I'm, I'm mainly trying to get their thought process, what goes through their head when this happens and that happens. They're just trying to compare and contrast, you know, what I think. And, and one of the things that Tyronto said was, basically, was talking a lot about, he was talking about his defense and what he likes to do early on in the game. And uh, one of the things he said was he likes to throw some random plays. And literally just, just to kind of fill his opponent out. So he'll throw basic, like, basic two-man under, basic zone. Basic pressure, basic man blitz, basic zone blitz, all the base stuff. I just kind of throw it at him and, and run it stock. And then later in the game, he'll start making adjustments on this coverages and stuff like that based on tendencies of where they're going. I think that's something that I forget a lot of times to tell you guys, and I apologize for that. Um, that's something that really, if you think about it, that's the one thing too. I, I urge you guys to start game planning in your head before you get into the game because one of the things that always kills me uh, when I'm playing a, a money game or when I'm playing for, you know, when I'm really trying to, to do my best and win the game, one of the things that really kills me is I don't plan out what's going to happen before it happens. So, so like, if it's third and two, I don't plan out what happens if he puts a streak out there. And a lot of times you'll see me get burnt on, like, third and four, and they'll just throw a streak over the top, and I'll just be like, did he literally just throw a streak route, and it beat me? Because, like, I, I just don't think about it. Um, it's just not in my DNA. It's not how I play the game. And that's mainly because I haven't had to play it like that for so long. And now with this game, the way the game works, there's a lot of adjustments you have to make to your defense to make it better. And, of course, I, I was hoping he'd quit. That's what I was going for. I was trying to give you guys a 10-minute gameplay. So, looks like you guys get another gameplay today. That's awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, okay, anyways, so what was I saying about adjusting knowing what your opponent does? Um, basically, what I'm talking about there is you got to have to know what your opponent does. You're going to have to know the setup, so you have to hedge your bets. I talk about it all the time, hedging your bets. What I mean by that, and it, it, it's almost like a gambling thing. It's almost like you're gambling on defense in this game, and that's really, that's what you're doing. Offense, you know, you know, not really a big deal. Um, you can hedge, you can really hedge your bets on offense. I mean, basically, you show up and you win. I mean, but anyways, with hedging your bets on defense, it's a whole other ball game because the game is so much harder to freaking play on defense this year. And one of the things, you know, when do you call it a skies cushion coverage? When do you not call it a skies cushion coverage? I'm going to cover that on the defensive ebook. We're going to cover that at some point because I really do want to talk about that a little bit deeper. But I want you guys to start thinking about, like, like what do you do if he runs a streak up the middle and dots you for 20? What are you going to do in a no-huddle situation? A lot of times what kills us as Madden players is not the fact that we don't have good plays. Guys, Nicholas Strong is all you need. 4-3 stack is all you need. 4-4 four, four is all you need. These They're the same freaking thing. You're sending pressure right, pressure left, coverage D, 
contain uh, a run defense, all that. You have all that. The five sets for success. You have it every single time. But yet, for some reason, guys, you don't. You, you always come back and, and it's not just you. It's me too. You know, you always come back to, well, I need a new defense. I need a new this. I need a new scheme. I need a new team. I need a new game. I need a new controller. I need, I need to go play FIFA. I, I mean, what do you, what is wrong with us? And one of the things I think that is, is because we don't plan out our, our plays and our, our movements almost before that happens. And it, we end up getting frustrated. We're like, oh my gosh, she was standing right there for the pick. But, it's, you know, and, and uh, what I'm going to start doing is when I see people who comment like that, I'm just going to tell them go buy another game because it, that's what Madden does. I was playing a, uh, a money game yesterday against a guy. I think it was for 20, and it was like I was up, and, and it was like two or three seconds um, or two or three you know possessions he would have had an opportunity. We were in like the early third quarter, and you know basically what happened was it was like the funniest thing um you're not gonna believe it but the guy threw the ball right at my player and he didn't intercept it i mean i mean i know you're shocked by that because man 12 i mean or man 25 whenever they throw the ball at you always get the interception right well like my literally literally my dude just stood there it was like a fourth and two and he got the first down i was so mad and it ended up really damaging my potential to win the game because of the fact that I was, you know, I wasn't playing properly. I wasn't making good adjustments. I wasn't just moving on from it. I was, you know, kind of dwelling on it. And and basically what I'm what I'm getting at here guys is we have to have a short-term memory when playing this game. You but yet you have to retain information. So it's, it's like a it's almost like a two-way street. You have to have a short-term memory in the fact that you can't think about you can't be upset when this happens. You have to adjust to it. You have to, you know, you have to I don't know. You just you just have to have to move on from it. You can't just you can't just be all right with with failing, 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 and say it's the game's fault. Because obviously, if, if it's the game's fault, just go take the game back. Obviously, because you're not playing the game. Because you're just yelling at it. And I mean, I know there are certain situations where that's you know different for everybody. It's different for you and and me and this and that and whatever. But the idea that I'm trying to point out to you guys is we have to. We have to stop being so concerned with whose fault it is, and we have to start executing and trying to fix the issue. We're never going to get EA Sports to make a perfect game. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you guys this, but we're never going to get EA Sports to, to do that. So in order for us to transition as a, as a team, I can't believe he got that first down. In order for us to transition as a community and as a team, we have to be willing to put stuff like... Stuff like that behind us because at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't do us any good to keep complaining because they're never going to fix it. So just we have to figure something else out. That's kind of the main idea here. But I, I think it starts with making different adjustments. Oh, Newman got completely manipulated right there. That was pretty cute. Um, but anyways, guys, back into the defense. I mean, you saw there the base run defense held him to like – it should. I thought it should have stopped him, but it ended up not. But – what I like to do is, when I'm picking my plays come out, if I don't have a custom playbook, we're playing Virgin Gaming. If you don't, if you play Virgin Gaming and you don't have a custom playbook, then you have to come out in the play you want to call. So, like, I'll come out in Sugar 2 Buzz if I want to call the base play. If I want to call my zone blitz, I'll come out in the Sugar 3. But if he comes out in a set like this, normally I'll call my run defense, but right now I'm just kind of filling him out. Trying to see how he does with the base play. Um, he did pretty good there. But that's kind of the idea here that I want to get at is, is, is based off of what personnel bases your play call so if it's just a th if it's just like a three by one then obviously you could come out in your sugar or your sugar your two sugar plays if it's a two by two or underneath that i would definitely come out in your run defense at least on you know situations like this uh here i want to see how he handles this base zone blitz and got pressure i need him to drop it he did drop it that's exactly what i planned i planned for him to try to catch it and just punch him in the mouth um uh, I don't know why James Harrison's not in the game. Oh, that's right, because I didn't save my depth chart again. Dang it. That's one thing, guys. If you don't save your depth chart, um, like, you lose it. I didn't know that until today. Well, I mean, I knew that, but I didn't know that. I knew it, and I forgot it, so that's kind of how that goes. All right. Uh, and I completely messed up my play. <laughs> Shoot. And I didn't. Dang it. This is going to suck. I bet I get dotted. Oh, I got a sack. Never mind. So what? This is... um. For all of you guys who are looking out for tips on how to play defense in this game, um, you might consider just calling a play and messing it up, and then you would, you know, that may work. 
But no, uh, that was just basic stuff out of the out of the scheme. I mean, that's the stuff that we were t we talk about in the videos. We we tip you give you the setups. Then we were supposed to talk about it in stuff like this. Oh, that was a stupid thing to do. Dang on it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, watch me return this. Oh, oh, Nelson, you don't have agility. But um, what was I saying about that? I guess I need to reconnect my controller first. But basically, there we just called the sugar tube buzz, just like we did earlier. We just called the sugar tube buzz. We put the safeties in the hook zones. So we man aligned, and that was our play. I think I'm going to start talking a little bit more about the adjustments behind it, the ideas. Um, but basically, when it's short yardage like that, I'm either going to send the man pressure or the zone pressure. And depending on what the, the down and distance, it's either going to be the basic play of the sugar tube buzz adjusted into something like the sugar three DB fire, or it's going to be the man blitz it's either the one or the other and then if it's third if it's fourth and like long um then i'll consider changing it but normally normally guys it'll just be the it'll just be the basic it'll just be the basic man blitz but for some reason this guy struggles with zones so i make that adjustment that's one of the things that you can't really teach in a tip um but you can show in a gameplay so that's why I want to provide you with some gameplay, but my channel is not necessarily about gameplay. That was sick. Um, and he fumbled the ball. He fumbled the ball. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Ugh. Like, ugh. I want to vomit sometimes when I play this game. Golly. How do you fumble? Uh. Man, that is killer. I think I need to... Rewatch the first five minutes of this commentary. Oh, booth review. It's overturned. He didn't fumble, guys. I was Madden was just testing my patience. That's what it was. They were trying to figure out whether or not I would honor him what I said. Which I was going to walk up on D. I mean, no, no problem. Uh, I don't know if I talked about this at all. In the I haven't seen the stupid video. I can't remember what I talked about. Um, about the uh, the shoot. Well, I don't even know what I'm talking about. The the what is it? What was I talking? About when I taught, when I told you guys about this, I should have told you about the screen. Um, the base play, yeah, the base play. The when I broke down the formation, the, this formation, I should have told you about this halfback slip screen. If I didn't tell you about the halfback slip screen, then you need to tell me so that I remember next time to tell you about it. Basically, it's very simple, and I'll just tell you about it right now. What I do with this is I put A on a wheel, I put Green on a comeback, and I put Jones on a drag. And I run a slip screen. That's basically all there is to it. He's off sides there. That's where you take your big shot. And you got a guy like Hawkins. So pretty, yeah, there we go. So Okay. I'll decline that. Alrighty. What do we got here? Doubles flex wing, read option. Every time. Every time. No reason to come out of anything else. We're not running many schemes. We're not talking about many schemes. So, done doubles flex wing, read option all day long. Curl flats because the corners are back. Put the put A on that streak. The wheel's there. And we got the out route to green. Get the ball to your hands quick. That's the idea here. When you're running pass plays, especially in this offense, get the freaking ball out of your hands as fast as possible. That's the idea. Out routes, quick out routes, quick zig routes. Very effective, especially when you have these running plays with Johnson and Bernard in the backfield. They have to worry about those. You got these quick passes. Get the ball to your hands quick, guys. Alrighty. What do we got here? Uh, I'm going to run the inside zone. No, I'm not. I'm going to run. Yeah, I am. Shoot, I don't know what I'm going to run. Uh, I really don't want to run this. I want to run, the, I wanna run the, the blitz, Peter. No, I don't. I want to get into that single back tight. Yeah, the bench, the bench, the bench. Yes. And I need to flip it, don't I? Shoot, I forgot to flip it. Dang, I'm an idiot. Flip the formation. Thank you. All right, Gresham on that. Set that up. We're mainly looking for Gresham here, but if Hawkins comes open, we'll obviously not be upset. And there's Gresham. That's what I told you guys, uh, Blitzbeater, I, I was going to go to the Blitzbeater there. The problem is, is I can't remember... If I had the, if I set my audibles from it or not, I do want to go to the bunch. PA post. I love PA post, guys. It's my play. But I guess Madden wants me to just flip the formation, so I'll just flip the formation. I'll call halfback dive MBD. I'll call halfback dive MBD. One time for your money. Get in there, Bernard. There we go. 
So there we go, guys. Uh, good first drive. Uh, don't need to show you guys how to. Oh, that's right. That was the blitz blader. I'm an idiot. Like I don't know how I can't remember sometimes. I, I forgot to set it in the audibles. That's why you're gonna need to make a custom book for this. Um. So, y you know, some people. I mean, a lot of people don't have to. This is the blitz blader. Real quick, I want to show you this. This is. That's pretty cute right there. Uh, if you guys remember the tip I put out on the best goal line play in Madden NFL 25, uh, if you stay tuned to the YouTube channel this week, there's going to be an update to that. We're going to talk about that a little bit more. I found something else that I really, really like and I want to share on uh, the channel with you guys about the best goal line play in Madden NFL 25. It's going to change it because uh, in order to run, you know, the Giants on trail is the best goal line play, but uh, we're going to talk about why it is and we're going to talk about how you can do it from other formations. And, and guys, if you didn't notice, I'm sick, so that's another. You know what? Let me just let me just tell you why. Let me just tell you why I've had trouble with videos. So I've had like the worst week I think I've ever had in my life this week. And it's not. It's it, it, okay. So basically, I recorded all the videos for the week, uh, like on Saturday or something. I can't even remember. But I recorded them after my fall break. I was on fall break for college. And I was really just kind of beat out. I couldn't, I wanted to do videos, and I did, but I just never could find a time. I was always out till like 11 o'clock doing something. So, uh, real quick, base man coverage here. Not playing Vic. He's got foals in the game, so we should be fine. Deep post, deep post. Don't hit the post. Don't hit the post. Uh, LB, LB. That's right. Uh, I clicked on him, and I'll there, hit LB. So, anyways, I was on fall break for college, and unfortunately... Um, I got this illness that I get every year, and it's still with me. So uh, that's great. It's probably going to be with me for another couple weeks. That's awesome. Really looking forward to that. Dang it. Get me on. If you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm doing the double baseline yellow trick. I uh, talk about that. At least I should have talked about that by now. If you guys don't know what that is, if I haven't talked about that yet on this in this year, leave a comment and tell me to talk about that. Tell me I'm an idiot for not talk, talking about that. Because I do that on like every third down, and I never, I don't, I, I feel like you already know that. I don't know if you do or not. But I will talk about that. I should have already talked about that, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is a little trick. I'm going to man up the slot. Got the yellow there just in case. This is just some adjustments based off of what he's been doing. Um, and guys, I mean, I, I need to... I I'm going to do all this in the defensive ebook guide, so be sure you're subscribing to my channel so that you can at least get that content because that content is going to be really good. I'm going to talk a lot about... Um, you know, everything you really need to know about playing a game, and I'm really going to... I'm taking my time with this thing. It's going to be a weekly thing. It's not going to be a daily thing because I don't feel like... I don't feel like I could just put it together in an hour, you know, before I talk about it. So, it's kind of important to me uh, that I do it. And I feel like it's going to help you guys out a lot. So, I hope it does. I don't know if it will or not, but we'll find out. And it's going to, but um, real quick, it's gonna, I should have been in the base run defense. I should have been in the run defense there, guys. I don't know what I was doing. Um, but, uh, okay, so that set he likes to run the ball out of. So, now we know. Sugar to Buzz. I like this defense for spread sets. Really like this defense for spread sets here. Send heat. Yeah, there we go. And the, 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 LaShawn McCoy, when did you become me? Like, the only person who can get through that many people is either myself or Chuck Norris. And Chuck Norris doesn't play Madden, so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run him in here because I know exactly what he's going to run. I'm going to zone my linebackers back up there. You guys probably already know what I'm doing. If you don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. I forgot. Guys, um, real quick, when you run commit, check, check it out. It's coming this, it should be coming this week or it should already be up. Actually, I think it's already up. Let me check my channel real quick. Let me get off of this stupid whatever I'm on here. And let me get onto my channel because that's all that matters in this world. Okay, have I broken down the run commit D yet? I should have. I think I have. Yes, I did. I did break it down. Okay, so you're good. But you know the mistake that I made there. Get off me, man! Don't be calling no fake field goal. Get out of here. I don't even know what I called on defense, but it worked. I think that's one thing I could also suggest you is just pick a play. It works. But anyways, uh, and, and on a serious note, run commit. What I did wrong there, I was in a cover two. 
dumbest thing you can ever do when you run the run commit defense is be in a cover two. It is retarded because, well, okay, let me rephrase that. It's not retarded. Some people do run it in a cover two. But they do that, but they back the guys off. I didn't back the guys off. That was my mistake. I got, I kind of just gambled on him, but I didn't hedge my bet good enough. People hedge their bets by backing the coverage off. That's where you hedge your bet. That's where it comes into play. But when you're an idiot like me and you don't hedge your bets very well, that's what happens. You get burned over the top. And uh, I think I, I think I might have. I really think that I'm gonna apply for like the best, the the most given, the most the b most big plays given up in Madden 25 because I give up streaks like it's my job just because I'm so stupid sometimes and I don't follow my own advice. Okay, there's the FL screen. You guys know about that. We talked about that this week. At least we should have. And. Doubles flex swing. I do want to get back into that. The only and that's one the one the only problem with not being able to set your stupid playbooks. And I try to I'm trying to expand more my my schemes to where you don't have to use audibles. Um, and real quick, I'm also if you guys want to want me to, I can make these playbooks on PS3 and Xbox and put them on the on the share if you want to. So let me know if you want me to do that. If you do want me to do that, I'll have my custom audible set for them. The five sets, the sets that I break down, I'll have that, and it'll have all the plays for you there that you need to dominate your competition. So, um, if you do want that, then you can get it. Just comment, and I will start doing that weekly, even though it will take me another five hours that I don't have. But anyways, I, I feel like that's something that I can do for you so that you can have everything nice and neat. It's almost like an ebook every week, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's not like an ebook every week, but it is. In my head, it is, so we'll go with that. All right, curl flats here. That's not a good look for it. I'm just going to check down in the halfback dive. And we'll take that. Uh, that's why you use a halfback dive, guys. Three timeouts, not really fretting about time. This is just kind of quick, quick, quick. A uh, little nitty natty stuff to get down the field. It's not really anything that he should be worried about, but at the same time, he should. It's kind of like this. That's what I like about this offense is it's it's not really anything. You don't feel like any anything that I do is really dominant, but it's all it all kind of is. It's just I don't I hide everything really well with this. All the different runs, the what different ways I can hit you from this formation is just really effective in my opinion. There's the run. Now I need to get into the bunch, or no, we don't need to get into the bunch. We need to get it in single back tight. Run that dive. I hate when I flip the. Gosh dang it, we'll just run it from doubles. Accidentally flipped a formation there. I was just trying to run a dive to get the first down and goal. And then now what I'm going to do, and this is something you guys, I, I have all this planned out in my head before I go to it. So that I know, I know I'm fast, I'm fast, I'm fast, I'm faster than my opponent. He can't adjust. I'm doing hot routes before they're even there. And that's what I want you to get you guys starting to do. Starting to plan out your movements before they actually happen. So that when it comes time to make the adjustments or make the hot routes, it's second nature, it's second nature to you and you can just fly through everything. That's why I can set up defenses so fast. That's why I can set up offenses so fast. That's why I snap the ball so fast. That's why all of the things that I do are because of speed, repetition, different things like that that matter in this game that I feel like we don't work on enough. And that's just something that comes with time. I can't teach you that. Um, that's that's. I'm sorry, but I can't. And uh, I know you guys were hoping I could, but I'm not Jesus. I can't do miracles. All right. So, 14, 15 to 6, we get ball at half, 19 seconds left, not exactly what I wanted, I should have taken a little more clock off, I left you with three timeouts, that was probably bad clock management, what I really wanted to show you was I really, how, how I would run that if it was just a regular drive, um, but I probably should have showed you the clock management, but you guys, I mean, I talk about clock management like it's my job, because clock management, in my opinion, in this game is one of the most important things um, when playing this game. That's the new kickoff, or at least I thought it was, but it's not working right now. I'll have to take a look at that after this game. Oh, man. I got the sniffles. I feel like I'm seven years old. I got the sniffles again, Mom. All right, 13 seconds left. We're going to go with the base zone coverage. Uh, really like this. Um, another thing I really like, um, like I said, crash line out. Just put them on the contains. This is something new. It's not anything. Is nothing that I broke down in the, in the guide. I apologize for not breaking this down. I didn't know about it, really. I mean, I just learned about it like five minutes ago that it actually sometimes will get a guy in free. So. Uh, there's a... Why? Leon Hall! You are... Uh, son of a biscuit! Dang it! It's the 
story of my life. I told you guys. I told you. I don't even know what I called. I told you. I told you this would happen. Daggone it. That really. Mm. That irks me, boys. That irks me. We gotta get the box stacked. He's gonna run the stupid zone week. I bet you that's what he runs. Nope. Shouldn't be having anything open, though. Nothing open. There we go, baby. Locked up. Mm. What up? Well, at least I can lock up Nick Foles on the one-yard line. Fortunately, I can't lock up. Gosh, dang it. I thought I... Maybe I pressed. That's another thing. You might want to stop pressing this year. Um, that's one thing I've actually considered using. Like, uh, Zboy365 from MadmoMoments.com. If you don't follow this man already, follow him. He is... He is one of my favorite... He is my favorite... Uh, my, my closest friend in the Madden community by far... Um, the only one that really knows how I feel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but we we do talk a lot. We play a lot. That's awesome. I was hoping you'd tackle me. I, ugh. Anyway, um, we talk a lot. And one of the things he was telling me about was why he likes to use the Redskins because Redskins are really get really fast wide receivers. And when you throw streaks, for some reason, zones just it's a speed rating, which I don't know as a fact or not. I just know that Leon Hall is not the fastest corner, so you may want to sub in Newman and uh, Caleb, Michaela both have 97 speed. If you, So, that's just something, guys. I'm just kind of letting you know, if you want to stop streaks, you either call backed off coverage or get a fast DB. Really? Can you screw me anymore? Oh, my gosh. I hit my own guy. Uh oh. This is what goes on, guys. But I mean, I don't, I don't blame Madden. I just know it's Madden's fault. That's kind of how this works. Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna die young. Golly. FL screen. I like to start it. I like to throw it. Really, the first play. I can't even breathe. Gosh, I really like to throw it the first play of every drive. I never finished my story on what happened to me this week. Okay, so here's what happened to me this week. <laughs> this was one for the ages, guys. I probably will never forget this week. So, day one. I'm driving down the road. Going to pick up my roommate so we could go back to school and, and learn about Jesus some more. Thank you. Gritty Gresham, go hurdling. Dang it, Gresham. So, we're going. And... I'm just, I, it was a, what is a four-lane highway, I guess they call it, even though there's only two lanes on your side. I don't know why they call it a four-lane. Anyway. That's what they call it, guys. And, basically, right there, real quick. Halfback dive, just call that, set you up to get third down situation. That's what it was. Um, anyway, we're going down this two-lane road, right? This van is in the left lane, and I'm in the right lane. I guess the van decided that it was going to pass me. Well, it didn't finish passing me before it came over into my lane and just drilled me in my in my freaking door. Luckily, my car is like Superman. It could take it. And uh, didn't actually end up killing my car, but that was the first accident, if you really want to call it an accident. I didn't really think it was anything but a dinged-up door. Then, we're coming back on Monday, I believe. We get on the road, and we're going. And we hit this. It had rained a little bit, but it wasn't like it was pouring. And we go to get ready to go up the hill. We're going down. the, Kind of going. I guess we're going on. I don't know what we're going on. We were going somewhere. And so I don't like driving behind semis at all so I go to pass the semi now this guys get this this was a six laner so it was it wasn't only it wasn't only two lanes this time they ended a third one that's probably what got me anyways guys six lane highway I'm going down and I go to get in the right lane to get around him and I guess I should never pass in the right lane I'll never do it again and the truck, there was, a, there was a truck and then a semi in front of me. And the truck, dude, literally, like, right as I was getting ready to go around the, the, the truck and the semi, the truck guy decides he's going to go around the semi, too. So he just comes, turns his signal on, and I'm, like, 10, 10 centimeters away from him. So if I keep going, I'm going to drill him in the uh, uh, door region, going, like, 75 down this interstate. 
and the dude like <laughs> like so I slammed the brakes and I didn't know that you're not supposed to slam the brakes down so I thought I was doing the right thing but all along I was actually making it worse so since it had been wet and my car doesn't have that whatever it's called ADS or whatever you guys call it these days I got screwed and like literally lost my car pick the ball off Newman you're high <laughs> dang it dang it and that's real quick don't try to hit stick when you're the last man if you're the last man you just back your butt up hold L2 to strafe and hope to god he doesn't kill you that's basically what you're doing there but anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so so we we skid and then we go and and basically what happened was we got. Have you ever seen a NASCAR where they'll get you in the rear and like you'll flip around? That's basically what we did. Luckily, we didn't go through the rail, so I'm still here with you guys today, and um, my roommate is also still with us, so that's good. All right, real quick, when to call the sky's cushion when they're throwing streaks all the time. So that's why I'm calling it right here. Thor, do five, six deep blues. Trying to keep everything underneath here. I'm going to sit right on this pick. Boom! How can you hold on to that? Yeah, you would be injured. Dang it. But yeah, that was the second one. And then the third one. The third one. You guys are going to love what happened to me on the third one. So I'm going. My roommate's like this genius with sound systems, I guess. At least he thinks he is. And what he wants to put this new sound system in my car because he thinks that would be the best use of our money at this time. So... We're going to get a, oh my gosh, you son of a biscuit. We're going to get a box for this sound system, and, and I, I obviously can't drive my own car because I don't know where this place is, so he has to drive. So I'm, so since it's a 2005 Chevy Cavalier, I really don't care. Well, that was probably the dumbest decision I've ever made in my life. And so uh, he's driving my car, ends up, there's this, really, really hot girl on the side of the road. And so he starts looking at her, I guess. And and basically, he just um, forgot to look at the truck right in front of him that was stopped. And, and so he just drills this truck. Literally looks like my car got punched in the face. Literally. It was the dumbest. Oh, it's the dumbest wreck. He was so lucky that there was another man present or I would have killed him right then and there. I was so mad because I had been in three wrecks in three days. Like, come on. I mean, Oprah can't do any better than this. <laughs> but anyway, that that's the wreck situation. Let's get into the rest of it. So, the other situation, so I was trying to get videos for you guys. That's right. I do care about you somewhat. And every time I would get the video done, it would say, capture failed, capture failed, capture failed. I thought it was just because YouTube was trying to send me a signal that my videos aren't very good, even though I know that's not the case. So, so I looked, I tried, tried to figure out what was going on, and basically I forgot to install the stupid Hapog software on my computer since I got this fancy uh, laptop refurbished so I can now see my screen instead of having to guess where it's at. Because that's what I was having to do before, so now you guys know why I hated my computer before. Not to mention the fact that it always messed up when I was capturing. Hopefully this one doesn't do that anymore. If it does do that, let me know, because then I will literally take this thing outside and beat it with a baseball bat. Because we know my car probably couldn't be able to do anything to it. Anyway, so that's what happened to me this week. That's part of it all. And that's why you guys have had somewhat of a delay on videos. Now that we're past this, back to the gameplay. So... What happened on the last drive, basically, it was just kind of a prevent drive. I wasn't trying to really stop him, because if you look at the clock, I was just trying to kind of prevent. So you saw either, I was either sending it all to try to get a turnover, or I was send, or I was dropping Matt. And I wasn't really running any basic Ds. I wasn't running anything that I should have probably been running there. But I, my idea, my mindset was, I could just pre limit his, limit what he could do, keep him to one drive or something, and it'd be fine, so... And there, what we're going to do, uh, DBs are back. We're going to throw the out route if it's there. And then it was there, there, so we threw it. Okay. So, I mean, really, you guys have seen a lot of read option. He's been running a lot of zone, if you guys haven't picked up on that. That's why I haven't gone, had to go to the single back uh, tight, which I really love that formation. I want to get a little bit more into that as the season goes on. But did I flip it? Did I get Oh, I hate when I... 
my goal line here. This guy must be getting ticked at me. So we're going to go play action. We're going to put Hawkins on a drag, and then we have these two uh, seams over top. Uh, we're going to playmaker because he dropped everybody back like an idiot. Alright, so there we go. So that was just a playmaker, obviously max coverage D. We broke that down a little while back. That's the basics of what we're doing there. And then, like I said, you know, you're always coming out in this formation unless you want to run the screen. But you can, I mean, never feel like you have to run the screen. You can audible out of it, of course. I mean, you can go to whatever you wanted. I mean, you can go from this. You can go into your doubles. Or you can go to your bunch. You can do whatever you want. But if they give you a look for the screen, which he's giving me a look for the screen almost all game, then we take a look for the screen. Obviously, you know, if your guy doesn't block for you, then that's a problem. I mean. But anyway, that's what we're doing with the offense. Offense really isn't that complicated, guys. I mean, you just basically, I mean, and I'm not gonna, actually going to have probably the easiest offense I've ever made coming up in a short, uh, if it's not this next week's scheme, it'll be the week after that. It's almost the, the easiest offense to comprehend because it's very simple. You're going to look at, basically all you have to do is look at the slot DB. That's all you have to do. If there's a slot DB, you're going to check down into something else and if there's not a slot DB you're gonna go ahead and run you're gonna go ahead and run what you got so it's basically just a one-man read kind of deal and go uh, why did I run the screen twice in a row because he's literally been giving me a look for the screen all game long and I'm gonna take that if I can uh, so that's what I was doing there I don't really like to pass the ball much out of the wing or the doubles flex but there are some good passing plays but I just don't really like to rely on those so I'll usually, if I want to pass, I'm going to go to those quick passes for Johnson because his accuracy stats aren't the best. Um, so now what do you do in this situation? You play drop back defense. Look at the time. You're trying to basically take as much time off uh, that you can. So here we're actually going to go into, we're going to man up everybody with the D-line. We're going to rush one. Draw, that's no big deal. You're going to be, you know, half the time you're going to be able to get an opportunity for a hit stick. So that's what we're doing there. Um... Real quick, two man under here. <coughs> really, really like this. Okay, so that should be good. Another draw, and I'm fine. If he wants to run draws, be my guest. And that's going to happen right there. You hit, you run draws in this game, you're going to fumble. Period. I fumbled the ball. I was playing a freaking money game again. I, I need to stop playing money games. Is what I need to stop doing because I get so screwed. I was playing a money game. Playing a money game. And literally, I fumbled the ball like seven times. And you know who I was using? I was using the Niners. I thought I was supposed to get seven fumbles when I used the Niners. Golly. Why would you run another draw? I'm, like I said, I'm fine with this. So, that's one thing. When you're playing the Philadelphia Eagles, real quick, if you can... Actually, when you're playing any team, really, in this game, if you can just force them to run the ball, I feel like that's a win. Because you're not going to get killed by that. At least, well, you're not going to get killed by that in the long haul. Especially if you're playing like a contained run defense. I was I was hoping you dropped the interception there, by the way. So good job, man. You did exactly what I wanted you to do. But, you know, guys, that, what I'm saying is, like, if you can contain it to, like, 4 or 5, I'm fine with that as long as you're as long as you're making plays in the passing game, I'm, it's not that big of a deal here. Especially with the clock, I'm not going to force him to throw. Or I'm not going to force, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to overcommit to the run is what I'm saying. I, I've only called the run defense twice. It's worked both times, so. If uh, But if it comes down to it, you know, you always got to have that one play that you can stop the run if you need to. All right, here, third and ten. Um, this is kind of important that I set this up quick. Dang it, and I didn't set it up quick enough the opposite of that. But I did get it set up. Play action. What are you doing, buddy? Man, that was ugly. I don't know why you'd run the ball in that right there. I don't know. He, and he's had good. He's had some success throwing the ball deep. I, I, I've got, that's why I've been running a lot of quarters, a lot of two-man. Um quarters and two men under base zone base man if you guys don't know what those are hopefully you guys watch this, actually watch the videos otherwise I'm wasting my time fourth and eleven I really like the sugar two buzz two way pressure um, or the sugar three db but he hasn't really been 
you know, he hasn't shown me anything. And I'm just going to yell at everybody here, hope the pressure gets in. Jump the slant. And there you go. That's that's how, that's that's the uh, that's the little Krabby Patty formula. He quit. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. I know I rambled on a little bit in this commentary. I apologize for that. Uh, that will not happen again uh, unless you're watching my Ultimate Team commentaries. So if you do like you know ramble and talk about whatever you want, check out the Ultimate Team commentaries. You do get a little bit of gameplay. Uh, you do get a little bit of breakdown, but it's more about having fun with the game. So check those out if you like that. And then also, guys, be sure to check out the next week's Scheme of the Week. If you guys didn't like this one, I have a really good scheme coming next week. We're going to have a really nice team. Uh, shout out to Ryan Dykes for this next week. This is going to be kind of like Ryan Dykes' week. Uh, this is one of his favorite teams to use in Madden 25. Thanks for watching, guys. Be please subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, if you like more Madden 25 content, I put out like four videos a day if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, if I'm not, if I'm not getting my work done and I don't get it all done the way I want to, then sometimes it resorts to one or two. But for, uh, that was only really this week. Uh, most of the time, I actually do get it done on time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Two quick games for you there. Hopefully, you enjoyed. I hope you got a little bit out of what I was doing, and uh, hopefully, you can use the scheme to better your game in Madden NFL 25. Thanks for watching, guys. This week, another great scheme of the week, and we'll see you guys next week with another great scheme.